Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another Skimcast. Today we'll make a random page project from scratch step by step. In this video, I will show you how we can make a codes generator that generates codes randomly using PHP. And then I'll show you how we can upload our project to GitHub as a open source library. So this is going to be part one. So in this part one, we will, we will complete our PHP project and then we will upload it to GitHub. And in the part two, we will learn about Composer. So we're going to talk about Composer JSON file, a little bit of PSR4 namespacing, and then upload the project as a library to Packagist so that anyone can install our library using Composer to use it in their own PHP projects. I think that makes sense. So let's begin step by step. All right, so I'm going to create a directory. But I, I could have done this way, but I prefer it to, as it's going to be an open source project. So I prefer to first make the GitHub repository and then clone the repository here instead of just creating a directory and start working on this. This will this will make sense because um, GitHub is going to generate the gitignore file and the MIT license file or whatever the license you chose to. They will automatically generate those. So I, f I found really handy to first create the GitHub project. Um, as I'm supposed to make a uh, make an open source project, so let's do that. I'm going to delete the directory, and now I'm going to create a new GitHub repository. Now I'll go ahead to create a new repository, and I'm going to give the repository name. So I think this is going to be like PHP random codes, simple. So it's going to be a public repository, so anyone can contribute. This is also interesting that we can initialize a readme file. That's why I prefer to first create the github repository then start working on the project and we're going to add a gitignore file so uh, here i'll just search for php oh okay github doesn't have a default uh, php gitignore file so i'm going to use the so i have used the laravel one okay so now i'm going to add a license so this is going to be a mighty license uh, all right hit create repository so now i'll copy this ssh link copy and then gonna make open the terminal here so I'm going to just go into the desktop okay so now I'll go ahead and clone this repository git clone and as you can see it's cloned the project here so now let's open this with code. So let's say code dot slash PHP. All right, here we go. First, we're going to create a SRC directory, uh, which indicates the source of our uh, plugin or of our project. So SRC. So instead of SRC, we'll create a new class. So create a new file and name it according to our class name. So this is going to be uh, random codes okay so here we're gonna start writing code so uh, we'll have a namespace here namespace same as the class name so random codes now we'll start making a class random codes so I'm gonna just have a, a simple function here called public function generate that will basically generate the random codes for us for now, we will just return a simple hello world string to check that if it's working or not. So uh, here mm -hmm. I'll make another test.php file to test this class uh, just to make sure that it is working. So PHP require once inside the source directory random codes.php. So now we will have to instantiate the class object. So say random codes equals to uh, new. Uh, remember, I have added a nam namespace here called random codes. So that means I set this class into a room, and the room ID is random codes. So I cannot just uh, search for random codes class inside my entire home. I have to first go to this room, and then I have to call this class. So how are we going to do this? So inside the new, I have to first say, go to this room, and then 
instantiate this class okay so I hope that makes sense okay creates a new object of random class okay so now uh, I will echo the uh, generate I will call the generate method that will return the hello world strings and I'm going to echo that out here and I'll just print a new line here it's okay so generate a random code okay so open up the uh, terminal so I'm using VS code um, it has a built-in terminal which is pretty cool to open that you can hit the control and back tick and it will open up there all right so uh, now what you can do here is you can say uh, ls and here I have the test.php file so it's a php test.php and boom it worked so that means uh, our uh, class and everything is working just fine uh, now we will convert this to a real plugin that generates random codes for us okay all right that's gonna be pretty interesting but uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need a source from where we can pull a uh, tons of codes okay somebody already did that for us that is pretty cool so I searched on Google and found this found this uh, github repository that basically have this database codes JSON all right so I'm gonna download this JSON file click the raw so I'm gonna create another directory here I'm gonna call it sx or maybe includes inc and in here I'll go ahead and create the file so I'll say codes JSON and I'm gonna paste to save that and closing the codes to JSON file this is going to be our database guys so first of all now what we're gonna have to do in this class I have to first import this JSON file so I'll make another function here I'm gonna call it public function get random codes so in here first of all I'm gonna include this JSON file so it's a codes equals to file get contents and uh, and as you can see here the first thing is the string of the file name so this is basically the file path where we have to go okay so uh, I have to go one 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 step back inside the INC and inside the codes to JSON file um, so just get the content list of uh, codes now we will convert this the JSON document to a to a PHP array. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna assign this. Are we gonna assign the same variable? And we will do JSON. Uh, we will do the JSON decode here. So you can see file. The first parameter is takes the JSON as a string. JSON document. JSON data. Okay. So we will pass the codes here. So this is basically our uh, JSON content. And then in the second parameter, I will pass a true. So what it does, if you pass the true, the JSON decode will, will decode the JSON content as a PHP array. But if you do not give this true here in the second parameter, it will convert the JSON document as a PHP object. So in our case, iteration over the data is very important. So I'm gonna make this a PHP array. Okay, that's why I need this true in the second parameter. I hope you get that point. So now it's time to test this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply return the code. And inside the uh, generate, I will simply return this method. OK, and inside the test.php, I cannot no longer echo this because I have to print R on this document. So because this is a PHP array, and we will know that PHP cannot echo or print the PHP array. I have to do something else, maybe a bird dump or print or whatever. So let's test it now. PHP test the PHP. 
no such file or directory in users slash oh okay All right, so the thing is that uh, I have to use this dear uh, constant that PC provides. That's basically, uh, this dear basically returns my, the current path for my, for the file, for the PC file. Uh, so uh, I have to print that and step, go to one step back and then go to the course.json file, okay? And it works. Boom, and it's a simple PHP array. So let's generate the random ID for the array, okay? Get a random index number. Index is going to be empty rand. Um, so empty rand is a uh, random number generator. So the first starts from zero and it should end at count. And we're gonna pass the codes. We're gonna randomly find an index number of our quotes array. Let's return our code. So we're gonna return this random code here. Index. Return the random code. All right. Um, so now let's open. Uh, now let's test the class. Uh, so we're gonna go at say PHP test of PHP. And boom, here we have it. So we have a random code generated for us. And it's different, as you can see, the first one to the second one. Let's try this one more time. And boom, it worked. OK. Uh, so let's push this code to GitHub. So VS Code has a very beautiful Git management uh, tool. I, I really love it. So uh, I'm going to keep the test file for now. So I simply hit the plus icon and it's automatically run this command like git add test.php. Now here I have to type a commit message that is test the class. And I hit command enter or if you're in Windows, control enter to automatically commit that change. Okay, so now I'll do this again in, in terminal so you don't get confused if you're not used to do with VS Code. So if I type git status, I can see I have still I have two, two changes that I have to comment. So git add all, git commit m, and I would say uh, random codes class working. Uh, I'll push the code to GitHub, git push origin master. All right, the code is now should be on GitHub. So let's go there. Refresh the page and boom, here we have all our source code. So that's all for the part one. If you want to inspire me to make more videos like this on other technologies as well, please subscribe. Thank you.